Atlanta at the Atlanta. Cameras are on. Ready to go straight in. Ready for release. Band Dak Hercules is in the water. Let us know when you guys are ready for release. We are ready for release. Pop it. There we go. Van Deck, Hercules is away. Roger. Oh, there's the jet pump wash. Woo! Oh, yeah. Love that. A little heavy for some reason. No, just the jet pump. The bubbles. Thanks for a bubble on res. Van Deck, Hercules is past the transom. Roger. Cage is good, ground fault's good. <coughs> I'm feeling that surface current, that's for sure. <coughs> yeah. 100% lateral to port. That's okay. Van deck. Umbilical is all the way out. Roger. ROV, is this a good time to ask for the CTD or better later? CTD. D -d -c -t -d -d. Your CTD is on. Thank you, starting driver. This is an audio slate for dive 1981. UTC time is 2034.35. Mark. And deck, Atalanta is in the water. Roger. Dive, dive, dive. Let's reset our wraps. I got tether if you can get 6 8, Josh. I guess. <coughs> Wrong. There we go. Interesting. We got an AC ground fault on Herc. Doesn't no consequence. Twenty two meg, but that's new. It's probably in the main connector then. Yeah, it could be. Thank you, Megan. <coughs> A 
Oof, that's hot. spicy. Hot and spicy. Video, could you please zoom past my shroud? Thank you. Cage is good. Ground fault's good. I try on craft to see what we get. Thank you for starting those sonars. Can you start this one, please? I could. All right, great. <laughs> and I neato, will. Neato, neato, neato. Stick of destiny. Hey, back row. Oop. Go nope. ahead. Hello. Hello. Are we doing a 10 meter per minute descent? Yes, we can. According to the dive plan, there should be a survey, but I think we skipped this by default. Sorry, I really hard to hear you. Um, Sound like it's in the dive plan, so we should do it? Yes, we should do it. Blue. Roger that, blue water. All right, I'm all stopped. Is it my turn? Is it my turn? Is it my turn? And deck, I'll stop at seven five meters, and control's been transferred over. Roger, thank you. My turn, 10 meters a minute? Yeah. <coughs> okay, video survey starting. Do you want me to mark a position here? Sure, why not? Yeah. This is where we are in the water column. It's very important. Yeah, absolutely. So, pilot, uh, Trevor, the um, on my checklist it says hit dive salvo at this point, so is that something you guys want to do? Great idea. Okay. Great suggestion. Yeah. There you go. Tunnel vision. Oh, you can't go down if you're in auto depth. Dolt. Okay, I'm, I'm getting sick of dolt. <laughs> I gotta come up with something else. Okay. Well, this isn't good either. Dingus? Mm. No. We should have positive reinforcing words. Megan, I don't think you know us very well. I think you should give it a try. Okay. You're a rainbow. You're positively adult. <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> If you're a whole whole crowd of rainbows. <laughs> crowd? What's a collected A collective collected of rainbows? A gaggle. A gaggle of rainbows? A murder of rainbows? A murder <laughs> of rainbows. <laughs> Pod. Um, hey, what about a pilot? Hey, hey. Right. If you guys are sorted and on your way down, can I take engineer for a moment? Sure. What could go wrong? Yeah, I don't even know what you have running on it right now, so... What does that mean? This computer is engineer computer. He wants to take it. Oh, I can't take it. I can only view it. Roger. You want to um, come sit up here? Yeah. What are you working on? I want to run that FCB control software for the Zeus Plus. Roger. And get uh, the version of the camera for I support. doubt you can do that because it's not serially connected to this... Uh, 
copy. I'll see if I can do it from the CCU over at video. Thanks. Good luck. We're not doing a transect right now, are we? We are doing a transect right now. I can't. I see why you were struggling with the 6.666 meters a minute. Uh, I couldn't do it with the bias, but then I got it as close as I could, and then I just tapped up and down. Yeah, Roger. And then it was pretty accurate, but you have to be actively doing it. Uh, do you want me to... S Never mind. I don't care what you want. Okay. Positive? I am positive beyond belief, Megan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hmm, maybe I should drive ahead. Are you doing your job? Yeah, I'm doing a great job. So I said. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Doing a job. Hmm, that affects my vertical velocity, so there's that. There's that whole thing. Hey, display select. Uh oh, oh dear. There we go. 2.4. Hmm. All right. Well, that's vastly different. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> like, not even I know, I close. Know. That's wild. I cool. Know, man. Love this. And then it'll start speeding Burp. up, and then all of a sudden you'll fly past 10 meters a minute. Yeah. I can't do the boink boink if I'm in stick lock, though. Boink boink. Boink boink. Boink just, boink. Just doesn't do much. <laughs> no boink boink. Okay, here we go. 12, 11, 9, 6 and a half, 13, 8. That sounds like good numbers. Yeah, these numbers are great. Love these numbers. Cages are good. Ground faults are good. How's your hair? Annoying. Not good. Thought it would be fine. I got a hat, actually. Isn't hair fine? Like texture. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Very fine hair. Give it to you. Give it to you. Yeah. Some people have thick hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. She just looks at your hair. She's like, "Is my hair thick?" I don't know. <laughs> my hair is mid-sized. It's gonna <laughs> micrometer out. I did. <laughs> like two days ago, I measured my hair. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I used the, the calipers. I didn't use a micrometer. I used the calipers. But you didn't. I did. I measured my arm hair. To be fair, it wasn't my head hair. Because it was more convenient than ripping a hair out of my head. Well, your hair's so long on your head, you could just... I could. And it would be in front of my eyes. Oh, man. If you could rival Hannaford's hair... Yeah, I, wa I thought about it. And then oh. I don't have it in me. Oh, man. That would be something. It'd be, it would be something. Yeah, I got eight days at home after this cruise. I can probably fit a haircut in there. A whole eight days? No, but don't. I know, but that's the other option, right? It's so easy to just not. Yeah, I did that last time. Not. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Keep mm -hmm. not doing it. Yeah, it's tough. To not do something? <laughs> Good point, yeah. Sometimes it can be hard to not do something. Yeah. You guys are going deep. Yeah. Uh, 131 meters. Not <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> I want this to be perfect, and I can't make it perfect. Your stick of destiny is not calibrated for 10 meters a minute. Oh, yeah, that should have gone on the red book. I know Dave wanted to recalibrate the stick of destiny. <laughs> I'm speeding up. I don't have any idea why. Eh, I had it there. What happened? Oh. I have an hour and 15 minutes left on this watch. I'm going to try and say nothing negative. I appreciate that. 
No. Doing it for you. That's because you Thanks. suck, Trevor. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for showing your true colors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was negative. <laughs> what you said or what I said? <laughs> what I said. Yeah. I am unhappy with this. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm happy. Okay. Oh. I'm unhappy. Oh, I'm happy. Whatever. <laughs> Everything's fine. I feel like there's a lot less to say if I'm not saying negative things. <laughs> yeah, we, don't, we're, we have no <laughs> idea how to be. no content yeah, now. Yeah, we don't know what to do. Fresh out of content, yeah. yeah. What am I supposed to say? Nice floor? I'll Thanks. give I'll give you all some nice stuff in just a minute. Hold right. on, stand Thanks, by. Marley. Stand Thanks, by Marley. for nice commentary. Love it. <laughs> Thank Marley here to save the day. Yeah, we needed that. <laughs> stand by for platitudes. Platitude. Platypus. We could all go around and say what we're grateful for. <laughs> yes. Grateful for platypuses. <laughs> Platypi. What about nope. octopuses? They're all right. All how right. many oct how many pusses can we name? <laughs> Sorry, I meant like animals. Stop! Octopus. <laughs> Octopus. Seahorse, yeah. Uh, did we see one <laughs> earlier today? A seahorse? Yeah, I think we saw like a really. Uh, they're all really tiny, right? They never get really that big. Hmm. Some seahorses can get a little bit big, but not not like yeah. massive. Not like one you could ride. Yeah, not rideable seahorses. But that would be pretty awesome. Right. I would totally ride a seahorse. Like what? Well, like the leafy sea dragons? Those are cool. Leafy sea dragon? Have you never seen a leafy sea dragon? Uh, I don't know, maybe. It's like a type of seahorse, and they have these like little projections on their body that look like leaves, so they blend in to That's the seaweed. Cool. Yeah. Shallow water fish? Mm-hmm. Cool. Makes sense, because of the seaweed? Cool. How big are they? Uh, like a few inches. Cool. I don't think I've seen that. They have them in a few aquariums, but they're not, I don't think they're very easy to keep. Oh, I figured out the stick calibration. Left, right? Nope. Okay. There's a little, <coughs> sorry, Megan, to interrupt, but there's a little, like, lip and it dies down off of here. Mm, yep. So it's right, right there. You know the uh, little handle part? If you put it on this side, there's a rubber against the stick. Yes, your right handed handle. Yeah, but I don't want rubber against the stick. Oh, okay. Because it pushes it too much. For oh, 10 Roger. meters a minute. Oh, okay, I understand. I'm trying to figure out the least amount I can put on. Yeah, it Roger. just does 10. Apparently 10.5. 10.5. Sorry, the other side a bit of a mess to clean up with the galley. Oh, no. Well, I started it and then came up here. What happened? Uh, 
completely overflowed. Everywhere, coffee grounds everywhere. So there must have been too much in it. In it. I don't know. Well, there was smaller filters in there, and yeah. Like, okay, well, it must be working. Oh, there he is. Look, hey. there's a couple of them. What are they? Uh, Pompano. Pompano. Dorado? Dorado? Not Dorado. Dorado? I thought Dorado was something else. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Mahi Mahi are tropical. Mahi Mahi are tropical. Say again, please, what are they called? Pompano? Pompano? Yeah, that's right. P O M? <coughs> Another P and then? Uh, a N O? Cool. Pompano? Thank huh? you. Yep, 10 meters a minute down. I believe they're in the Jack family. They're like the, the fast surface fishes. Look how fast they are. <laughs> 207 meters is pretty deep for surface. Does that count? Yeah, it's pretty. What's the range of a surface fish? Uh, usually like from the surface to 250 meters. Okay. We'll see, uh, especially even in, in tropics, we'll see tropical fish down pretty deep. Okay. But usually never past 250 meters. It seems like the cutoff. Right on, cool. The really philosophical fish can go as deep as 500 meters. Yeah. Deep thinkers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Buddhist. Monkfish. Nice. Thanks. The monkfish, I think they just always stay deep. They're like really deep into it. Hence monk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. I don't, are there monkfish over here on this coast? I don't know. Don't know the answer to that. No. They're all over the place on the Atlantic side. They blend in really well to the seafloor, so you don't see them. And then all of a sudden, there's like this smile, like grinning what? at you. Yeah, because they've got the big, big mouths with like all the teeth. Crazy. I don't even know what a monkfish looks like. Oh, they're they're really ugly. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty negative. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think they're awesome. That's positive. Yeah. Megan on thinks it. everything underwater is friendly and happy. <laughs> they're definitely not friendly. <laughs> <laughs> they're ambush predators, so they just kind of <laughs> lay in wait. Oh, yeah. Those are... Wow. Mm -hmm. They look like they know what they want. Yeah, they do. Apparently, it's pretty tasty, monkfish. Really? Have yeah, you I feel it? like I've had it before. Uh, oh. Like bottom fishing? Monkfish? Yeah. I want to see some halibut. Mm. Just for the halibut? Yeah, just for the halibut. <laughs> and then I can say hippoglossus. Is that what a halibut is? Yeah. Hippoglossus? Mm-hmm. Nice. I wish I could remember that, but I'm going to forget that immediately. But it's a cool name. Mm-hmm. I'm going to name my firstborn that. Hippoglossus? Mm-hmm. Can you still say that phrase if you already have a kid? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to name my firstborn that. What? Uh, it's pretty... No. No, you can't. <laughs> Unless you change their name, I guess you could say, I'm going to name a first... And then you immediately change their name legally hmm. to whatever you say. Right, yeah. I don't know how... Can you do that until they're, like, 16? Like, can you change your kid's name until they're 18? That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can. How crazy would that be? 
I bet I bet Megan knows. What, what did you say they were? Uh, they're Pompano. They're this, this one too. Yeah, they're a type of jack, I believe. Yeah, some of these guys they get down pretty deep. The way they flap is hilarious. I know, right? That's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Mahi Mahi do that too. But the Mahi Mahi are almost exclusively like right at the surface and they feed at the surface. So these little like larvation things. I thought that was like bottom coming up. I'm like Oh, oh. yeah. Oh god. Oh um, there was one dive we got inked so bad that every the altimeter told us that the bottom was there. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Like oh, it's like oh, it's too early. <laughs> oh no, you, oh stop. Have you ever got inked so bad you hit the bottom <laughs> a thousand <laughs> meters before it existed? Yep, that was pretty much how it went. That's the catchphrase of the ROV uh, reality TV show. Have you ever been inked so bad you hit bottom? <laughs> what? Rock <No>. bottom. <laughs> I mean, it looked like the bottom too. You know, it was just like this cloud and it was bumpy and we're like crazy. It was nuts. We we had 300 meters left. We're like, but maybe the seamount was you know not properly mapped. You didn't know, you never know. Sure. Or it was just like a little pinnacle. Is an acorn a type of nut? <coughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's a seed, so I, it depends on how you classify nuts. Wasn't there a specific way to classify nuts? I think so. Um, that's not my area of expertise. Culinarily <laughs> versus biologically. Like a I mean, acorn has nutty flavor. Seed. Like, you know, like a yellow pepper? Culinarily, totally a vegetable. But botanically, fruit. it's a fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So an acorn botanically Ooh. is like a fruit. Yeah. Uh, what? A fruit. An acorn is a fruit, <coughs> not a nut? Because it's a seed. Yeah, it's a seed. But, like, the, the flesh around it is, is like, edible. I don't know. I don't, we have to look this up. Because you can say something's nutty or something's corny, but you can't say something's acorny. <laughs> well, you could say that, but yeah. I don't say know it. what it means. So the only limit is yourself. My mind. Can I see the vehicles, please? Merci beaucoup. The limit is your mind. Acorn is the nut of the oaks. Oak nut. So it's a nut. <coughs> But is a nut a considered a seed then? A nut is a type of seed. It contains one seed, sometimes two seeds. Seed. Okay. Well, not all nuts contain one seed, but sometimes, for the acorns, it's generally one seed, but sometimes two seeds. Cool. Have you had like acorn jelly, like? At like a Korean restaurant. No, I don't think That's I've ever had what? an acorn. <coughs> it's pretty good. That's cool. I had Korean food at an acorn restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> How was it? Nutty. Corny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Acorny. <laughs> Remember when Marley promised all these positive comments? Yeah, I was just, I've been, we've been waiting on that for a while. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember. She, pos she promised the positive comments and then went away. And then she bailed. See ya. Because she, she couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> scroll down, scroll down. Ooh, ooh, yeah, lacking those. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. How's your ego doing? Pretty good. Yeah. I feel like I should have this on standby, so when someone makes a good, hilarious, negative comment, that you can go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And then you have to get somebody to come pump it up again? I'm a self-pumper. So the earth is flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this jellyfish. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at it. It's got the thing going it on the top. Upside down. Yeah, Why was it inverted? So what? It's, oh, there's a bunch oh, of like inverted it's jellyfishes. One, it's like when you have an umbrella in the wind? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> they just they just no, do that. Like, no. Yeah, no, I said yeah. Oh. Okay. They just oh. kind of do that. Really? Like all of them? No. There's there's few that are inverted. Cool. Like always. That one. Yeah. It's always. They wild. just hang out. Hey, look. Not service. Three oh six. Wow. It's Record the, breaker. It's one of the philosophical ones. I mean, yeah. yeah quite very philosophical. <laughs> same as Phil. I bet that's following us. There's another inverted Call one. All that same fish. That's funny. Which way does it move? It just kind of bloops. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best explanation. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't move in any direction. It just yeah, bloops. That's exactly how we feel. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Buddy, <laughs> chill out. Feet jumped. <laughs> yeah. Fish right at your face. It's like the first time you watch a 3D movie and the hand comes out, you're like, ah. <laughs> Bloops. Yeah, it's blooping. See, that one's upside down and blooping. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Well, this one will be a very interesting one to annotate for whoever watches this video. Is it likely <laughs> going to be you? Oh no, I don't do water column. No? Do you not do any of the water column? Annotation? No, no, that's our dedicated colleagues on work at work uh, on shore today. It's Cassie. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> just benthic, eh? Yep, just benthic. I mean, I guess we could probably start doing some water column stuff, but there are other people who do it that are better experts. Roger. Here I am, just be like, oh, it just bloops like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. How's our volt amps? Nice. Um, rock solid, apparently. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. It's not, I'm not changing anything, I guess. I know, but it's cha it's crazy that it's not changing by even point one or, or nothing. Yeah. There we go. All right, uh, one third of the way. Of the survey. Of the survey, not the blue water. Oh, I was going to say, I thought we were going to be uh, 2,300. We are. This watch, we'll see no bottom. I might later. But you might. All right, you maybe. Might. You might. Yeah. Maybe you. Maybe. Probably get on bottom and then get off watch. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Get on bottom and then get off your bottom. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just in time for snack hour. Oh, yeah. Megan and I are really hoping for baked cookies today. <sighs> we haven't had those in a while. I know. I know. That's what we were saying. It's hard to keep them fresh when you've been at sea this long. Well, you bake them. But they're just frozen... Yeah, the frozen dough. Dough. You just throw it in the... Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Did you just have a seizure? <laughs> no, that was just fishing. But so you fish? Yeah. You should catch that pompano no. for us. It would make a good dinner. Probably, yeah. Do you guys fish on the crown roll? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Do you use Velveeta? No, what? <laughs> yeah, wait. Megan said that's a thing <coughs> in the Midwest. Oh yeah, we're... Well, beat it in peas. 
Velveeta and peas as like fishing bait? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, for like trout. No way. I've never heard of that. I don't know. That's what we used. Wow. I was going to say that sounds expensive, but then again, fishing lures are not free either. So yeah, huh. Cool. I spent a bit of money on my, my <coughs> mahi mahi lures, so. There's no lack of peas on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Is there a true. lack of Velveeta? I, I don't think we've had anything with Velveeta in. Hmm. How am I expected to catch a trout? Well, <laughs> so many miles offshore. <laughs> I don't have Velveeta. <laughs> Or a fishing rod, <laughs> <laughs> or any of the requisite right. parts, <laughs> or license. Yeah. Just throw some cheese on Do the Do you surface. need a fishing license in Canada? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Freshwater and saltwater are different as well. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I do have a freshwater license. I don't have a saltwater license right now. You don't need a license for recreational fishing in Hawaii. Hmm. What about as a foreigner? Like, can I fish in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. Cool. <coughs> There's a soul missus. Kind of looks like it's saying hi. Yeah, those dull dinner plate ones. It's like the one jelly I know. ONC has this field guide, and they have a bunch of different jellies on it, and a lot of them say species unknown, but we have great pictures of them. Yeah, <laughs> well, the thing with like the red jellies is there are so many species of red jelly and they all look almost exactly the same mm. um, and you can't really identify them unless you're collecting them and it's hard to collect them because they're jelly yeah. and the structures that you need to see in order to identify them to species are like the reproductive structures which you have to have a very pristine sample in order to identify those structures can you get them to family or one of the other levels um, yeah, I think so. Would you be able to tell, like, with an eDNA sample? Uh, perhaps. You'd have to have already collected uh, DNA from a previous sample in order to have that in the database. But yeah, um, first, a lot of the samples that we collect of uh, biological specimens, we take a DNA uh, SNP, and so that's part of the the database that we provide information to so that all of the samples that we've identified and you know especially for new animals um, that are being described we have uh, pre preserved specimens that have DNA mm -hmm. on file and this is really critical for for jellies in particular because in order for a jelly to come back to shore uh, in good condition, we need to preserve them in formalin, which will degrade the DNA. Mm -hmm. So we need to put a little piece in ethanol to keep the DNA intact. Why can't you preserve it all in ethanol? Because it would just turn to mesh. Hmm. Uh, the the jelly itself would just dissolve in, uh, in ethanol. Okay. The DNA would be fine, but the structures would be long gone. Like eat through them or something? Mm-hmm. Neat. Same with like your um, fleshy corals, like your, your mushroom corals or your anemones. Uh, they need to be preserved in formalin in order to preserve their structures. Cool. Been seeing a lot more siphonophores. 
Got some ectopids. Got the planning gloves on. Mm-hmm. Are they deploying something? Oh, Once we get yes. to the bottom, yeah. The auxiliary platform. Yeah. Did you all check it out this time? Yes. <laughs> And what did you find? We got some good conversation started and some good feedback and have a plan for a hopefully successful deployment. Good. And all dust caps have been removed. <laughs> did you see that the last night? The ones, the blue one? No. Uh, one of the dust caps um, wasn't removed and then it floated up and got caught in the camera. Like a, like a, like a ODI dust cap? Yeah, it was and, just like and so we took it like off, and Dan went to go put it in like the junk drawer, yeah. and it just like floated up and right into the Zeus. <laughs> it just got stuck on the lip there. Really? So it was yeah. just there. Oh no. Whoops. Yeah. <clears throat> Good time. How did it float up? I don't know. Wild. Yeah, but he went to go put it down, and it just was like, boop. <laughs> That's really funny. We didn't want to grab it, because you don't want to scratch your eyeball. <laughs> no, not really. Just shake it out. <laughs> yep. Could you please engage the uh, device over there? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Never did get those platitudes. No, no platitudes. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what Marley was going to read to you. What did she say? Marley? Yeah. Yeah. She said she's going to read nice things that people said. Um, I could read you a comment we got yesterday. We'll take it. Absolutely yes. phenomenal skills of everyone controlling the ROVs, manipulator, and magnum, and cameras. I'm on the edge of my seat watching the dive stream. Fantastic viewing as always. Yesterday, that must have been the other shift. They do really yep, well. That was definitely on the other shift. <laughs> them. They do really well. They are excellent. Pretty sure that was during that Megan a was flying way. the ROV. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It was definitely when Megan was flying. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, totally. How was that? It was fun. Yeah. I had a great oh, time. Man, nice. I'm and I saw this octopus and I got to chase it. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever played the game in your head when you're watching the deck cameras and you're seeing people talking with their hands and you make up what they're saying? Yeah, yes, I was absolutely. doing that with you yeah. guys the other day when you were standing around the craft. <laughs> look at look at look at Dirk. Oh, oh my face. Dirk oh, seems real right angry. Here. Look at my shoes. Oh. Look at my shoes. I threw them overboard once. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and then they were this big, and I pulled them down from my shoe rack, I flipped them over. Down. <laughs> upside down. This way up. Oh my head itches. Oh my eyes. <laughs> Yeah. 
This is probably not very interesting to the people watching at home because they're not seeing that. Oh, yeah. Are they seeing that? <coughs> no, maybe on feed three. Sure is seeing it. But this thing here. Check that out. That thing is better than my shoes. Mm -hmm. It's worth more. Easily. That thing. That thing. Wait, wait, which thing, Dirk? Oh. That thing. Okay, now you get, now the deck is on. Excellent. Now Shore sees what you're talking about. <laughs> <coughs> so that's one of that's a couple of our fearless leaders on deck there. Dirk's in the flannel. And if you hold the cup and you spill <laughs> it into <laughs> your <laughs> shoes, <laughs> then you reach up. Grab a wine glass from up above, you know, shake yeah, it around shake a bit. Shake it, shake it. Not stirred. Oh. Right, right down here. This right, is what I'm telling right there. you. And then you use your left hand and you grab it tight. And you pop just, the cork out of the wine glass. Yeah. yeah. And now you've got it. And with it's your right shoe. there. And you with your shoe. No, that is a trick. If you don't have a <coughs> bottle opener oh. for a yeah. wine, you can use your shoe. Oh, yeah, I, hammer. I, He's I, hammer. It's a hammer. <laughs> you can pop the cork out, yeah. Yeah. See? The See? cork is there on the ground. Right there. It wasn't the wine bottle, and now it's on the ground. Right there. Right it there. just shot right out. <laughs> shot right out. And you shoot it back. Right up. Hit like, me in the face, though. Yeah. That's interesting. Could you slow down a bit, please? Oh, and then you do some vacuuming. <laughs> you have to clean up the mess from the cork wine spill. Yeah. This thing, though, I tell you, this thing will open a wine bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, still with my shoes. <laughs> Over there, wine glass. Throwing it around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You put so it on a slinky. And just then you reach <laughs> over and you breathe and you... And Josh is just thinking, this is the most boring story ever. <laughs> now, let huh. me tell you about these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> these are other shoes. These are my other shoes. I can rest on my toe. Sometimes I like to lean. <laughs> I like how Josh is just totally out Totally still. He hasn't moved at all. <laughs> Sometimes I pour out more drinks into my shoes, and I bounce them a little bit. Yeah. To, right, this puppy right here? Oh, yeah. That can take some wine in it. <laughs> <laughs> Orange juice? Grape yeah. juice? Doesn't matter. Grape juice. Is Josh a statue? <laughs> he got a cardboard cutout. <laughs> it's, a car it's not. Dirk's just talking to a cardboard cutout. It's rehearsing. He's rehearsing. <laughs> this time I'll get Josh to be convinced about my wine shoe story. <laughs> He'll invest in my business. He will invest in my wine shoe opener. Wine shoe opener. Wait, shoe wine opener. Shoe wine opener. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. More potential VC people. Mm. Right the team there. has emerged. Yeah. <laughs> Dougie's going to go clean up the mess of Dirk's wine spillage. <laughs> Got the rags out, ready to go. Oh, yeah. Doug looks like he's uh, cleaning up something. Yeah. You slowing down slowed me down, so that's fun. What? I d I'm not blaming you. I'm just commenting. Just observing the situation is all. But I didn't. You made it sound like it was my fault. Nope. You changed the wind speed, which was the right thing to do, and it affected my speed, which it is a neat... It didn't affect your speed. Yeah, I had to crank it up from minus 32 to minus 50. That's not my fault. It's not. You're right. Absolutely not. It's the situation, Josh. We're in it together as a team. Hey, look, the cardboard cutout came to life. <laughs> no, that's real, Josh. He finally came out when Dirk left. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Enter stage left. <laughs> now, I did cut away if you want me to put it back on. <laughs> Oh, I think I, we're okay. I've got it up here, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's definitely more fun when there's two people talking to mm -hmm. each other. Yeah, one doesn't work. Because <laughs> who's he? Who do he talk, be talking to? You know? I don't know. He's celebrating his his bug win. Oh, did he win? He win. He won he bugs. Wind. He win bugs. Nice. What does that mean? It's a game that they've been playing. Oh, okay. It's called Hive. Hive Mind oh, or right, Pocket right. Hive. I saw that on the Yeah, it's bugs. got like little Bug tiles. Um, yes, hexagon tiles or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This is going to be the cleanest wheel I've ever cleaned. Yeah, I'm going to dig deep, you know? Yeah. I wonder if I left the stove on. <laughs> Can you imagine leaving the stove on and then going to sea? Oof. 
I always worry about that. So I, d I don't use my stove before I leave. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. For how many days? Like for one day. Hmm. What do you eat that day? Whatever I have in the fridge that needs eating. A microwave. Oh no, I left the microwave doesn't on. That doesn't, that doesn't require, you know, heating food. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could use the microwave. Imagine if you use your microwave and then it you forgot to take the food out and it was just beeping every few minutes while you were gone. Oh, that'd be annoying, but I wouldn't be there to be annoyed. I feel like at some point it would stop, right? Not for a, forever. A, mod a lot of modern microwaves do, but the old classics, no, they yeah. just go forever. I think mine would stop. It's a newer microwave. Oh, I guess some of them also you know stop immediately and then never do it again. No, yeah, it's like really I just beeped once and if you yeah. forgot about me, it's, that's too that's bad. That's on you, well, yeah. That's fair. I mean, what bills is the microwave paying that it can take that tone with me? Right. <laughs> Um, you know what's really annoying these days? Vehicles, yes. new vehicles. When you don't wear your seatbelt, they oh, yell yeah. at you forever. You can disable that. Put a pile of stuff on the passenger like seat. seat. Yeah. Um, no, my, mine you had to do like a sequence of like ignition on off on off on off unbuckle buckle unbuckle. It was weird. It was like a secret code, and you could it doesn't beep anymore on my seat. I'm glad that we're telling our audience how not to wear their seatbelts. <laughs> Yeah. No, but like if you put a bunch of stuff on the passenger seat, it does the same thing. Totally, yeah. yeah. Sure yeah. does. It's got to be pretty heavy, though. I think the cutoff's it's like, whatever, like 40 pounds, pounds or, 40 or something. Yeah, well, my seat sensor must be broken because. Yeah, the the light tomorrow. goes on with like 10 pounds, but it doesn't beep until it's heavier. Oh, okay. At least for my car. I don't think mine beeps at all. It just the light <laughs> comes on. But the seatbelt thing in new cars is yeah. just. So there's a. Uh, there's a thing you can get for your dog is a thing that clips into the seat belt and has a little clasp to tie to their harness so if you get in an accident the dog doesn't go flying around they're constrained to one spot they also clip into a seat belt so yeah, use that information how you will yeah to I, don't have a, I don't have a dog though yeah but maybe you had a friend's dog once I'm, it's a joke Trevor. okay good one <laughs> good joke i just cut my seat belt off and then it beeps because it's not plugged in no i plug it in oh roger I don't know if the new Priuses do this, but I had an old Prius that like would beep when you'd back up. That was annoying. <laughs> Interesting. Inside? Inside. Oh. Only oh. inside, not outside, inside. Only inside. Oh. Yeah, it was really annoying. So I had to do one of those things, like you said, where, like press a bunch of buttons. like. Oh, and the decoder and thing? To yeah, decode yeah. it so it would stop doing oh, that. good gravy. Yeah. Dirk's reaching. Megan, check out this. It's going to replace shoes, I tell you. No, that's a cardboard cutout of Megan. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you put, you put the same spot, like the position. <laughs> He's trying again. <laughs> so see, I'm going to pour the wine. Here's where my shoes would go. Over here. And mix this, them all up. This is where you mix them I mean, the it's wine. the same story. Wine mixers. Yeah, he's practicing it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And over there. While we are mixing wine, can we confirm the <laughs> descent rate, please? I know it's not really the same. Uh, 11. 11.3 right now. 11. It's been going between 9.8 and 12 or so. Thank you. You're welcome. Go on with your wine stories. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about beer if it's preferable. Grape juice. See right here? Oh, she's oh, real. Oh, she is real. Wow. He's going for it. Meanwhile, Dougie's still cleaning his wheel. Cleaning my wheel, cleaning my wheel. He's a good wheel cleaner. Cleaning my wheel. Yeah, at this point, it kind of seems like he's making work. That's going to be one gosh darn clean wheel, let me tell you. Is it a wheel or a weight? It's a sheave. It's a sheave. Oh. A sheave wheel, I guess. <laughs> a sheave or a shiv? Depends it's on a your. Shiv. Depends on your pronunciation. Depends if you're in prison or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to say depends on if you're Canadian or American. Oh, what's the status with Ooh. our uh, other ship we're supposed to meet up with? Does anyone know? Uh, none of us are important enough. Nope. I didn't know if that was happening anymore. They said something about the strike. Oh, did that happen? Uh, well, it was going to happen earlier, but then... I think it did. <coughs> Question mark. Uh, I don't remember oh, that happening. Oh, hat's off and he's scratching the back of his head. That's a head scratcher. Oh, yeah. Oh, get that brush. Flow. Oh, yeah, get that. Oh, sickest flow. Sickest oh, flow. Pete, do you want to put that on feed three? <laughs> no, it's okay. We don't. We don't. <laughs> he's still cleaning that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Lubrication is important. 
I don't think he's looping it. I think he's just cleaning it. He's just cleaning it? it? Well... Yeah, I think he's de-looping it. De-looping it? There's well, a lot of lube built into the into the wire uh, mm -hmm. rope, the 322, ah, so I it gets see. all over the sheave. Shiv. Well, you don't want to have a gunky shiv. No. <laughs> Sheave. Shiv? Chav. Shank. That's really prison talk. Shea Guevara. How do you know, Kim? <laughs> I watch a lot of Love After Lockup. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute, yeah. So, what's the purpose of the survey? Ulrike? I noted down investigation or survey of the flora and fauna of Midwater Column. Have we seen any of those things? <coughs> yes, we just saw a squid. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this little red squishy guy on the <laughs> left. Yeah, is that one of the things? That is one of the things. What about the little white dots? Um, those are probably not the thing. Marine snow? Okay. But oh, look I guess they could calculate the... The other one is weird. What it's are like you? like a barracudina or something. Ooh, barracudina. <laughs> nice. There's a squiggly thing. There's lots of squiggly things going around, going around and by and... Oh, Dougie's way. moved on to another wheel. You're doing great, Doug. That's because his bosses are standing right on deck. He wants to look busy. Gotta clean my <laughs> wheels. It's like when we were mobbing up for a job and Kim Wallace spent two days cleaning bolts for the sonar dine transducer head. Uh. Stuck in a vortex. <laughs> Oh, Pete, there's a request about a deck shot for Channel 3. <laughs> it's actually pretty educational. This is a great example of how to clean a wheel. <laughs> okay, you realize you're going to have to keep up the commentary with Deck 3 gone out. All right. Okay. But yeah, you see all these other shoes that aren't going to work. you got to use this hang shoe. On, hang on. <sighs> Cue us up, Pete. All right, you're on. Here you go. Now this, this is a sturdy, sturdy, sturdy thing. <laughs> Doug cleaning is the one cleaning wheel, the wheel in the back. Cleaning my wheel. <laughs> Scrub it up, dub. Cleaning the wheel. Clean the top. Clean the grooves. Scrub that top down the side. Oh, <laughs> roll it around. Clean some more. Singing my wheel, cleaning song. Floor. <laughs> Oh, but if I kick this over here, you can see how sturdy it is. Oh, hey guys, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh, we're just talking about this shoe. Mm. Nice to see you, Josh. Mm. Mm, yum, yum. Now, if I snack. point over here, you're going to look there. I got a snack here. Mm. Nom, 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 Throw nom. your snack overboard. <laughs> no, I'll eat it. No, I think I'm going to have another bite. Unless it's Velveeta. <laughs> Jump in the water. What you got to do is swim a little and then... Doug's visually inspecting the wheel. Yeah, visual inspection. He's still cleaning it. No, I don't think so. I think it's a visual inspection time now. Oh, no. I think he's got another layer of Oh, does something. he? He's getting in there. Oh, get, oh clean Oh, the... Doug. Yeah, good work, bud. Oh, boy. oh Megan's on to something. Oh, this, could be, I... a, this yeah. could be a wheel. Maybe we get Doug on that next. Yeah. Hmm. This thing? No. No, no, no. You're wrong. This is a wheel. So, what's in our, what's in our ROV camera? That is a lengthy discussion about the deployment of that package. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody has to agree. 
Sorry? Yeah, so, so the first time, you know, you had to do the Josh spiel, and then you had to do the Megan spiel, and now it's the both spiel. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, yep. Yeah. You saw a hand motion there? That's throwing yeah. the plan out the window. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. I thought that meant just check it over the side. Doug's branching oh. out. Yeah, He's see, off the wheel. I He's just threw that plan right overboard. Doug's throwing his wheel plan overboard. Look at him go. He's cleaning what, what is cables he got? now. What got has a, he got in there? It's a uh, termination. Oh, Rye. Oh, Rye is the termination Rye cleaner. Rye is the termination cleaner. Doug's out of his element. He's like, Rye, help me out. I, I don't know. It's on a wheel. <laughs> Put it on a wheel. <laughs> Look at him. He's 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 floundering. Hey, yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's learning though, you know? That's why. He's branching. Look at out. look at how uh, look at that. The wires all twisted. Take the turns though, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, there's more turns. Yeah, Dougie's got a consultant expert. Yeah, well Rye. That's what I'm saying, yeah. What? Rye's got this got this Whoa. covered. That is twisty twisty. <clears throat> Stick with your wheel, Doug. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Doug's in the wheel world. In the wheel nice. world. <laughs> and he's gone. He gave up. He's not helping her with the twists. He's like, if you had a wheel, it never would have twisted. Oh, where'd you get that bag from? Did that just... He's had that bag. Oh, wow. Yeah. I missed it. Fish. Another job well done. Yes. Good day at work. Oh, there goes he go? Is he just walking around in circles? <laughs> yes, he is. Just like a wheel. <laughs> He's practicing. Once a wheel guy, always a wheel guy, you know? Yeah. Rise doing the straight lines, you know? She's got that figured out. Yeah. This is quite the intense discussion about the deployment of this. What is this platform? Do we remember? Do I remember? Wine shoes or something? Yeah, yeah. shoe wine. Uh, uh, auxiliary mind. platform. Look, he made it into a circle. <laughs> see, this is how see, wheels this look. This is how <laughs> wheels look. I know you like the straight lines, but... But you should make this into a wheel. <laughs> then I can help you clean it. Yeah, it would be so clean <laughs> by now. If only it was in the shape of a wheel. See, right? This is what a wheel looks like. Oh, whoa. Rye is wondering what drugs Doug is on. <laughs> the teacher has become the student. See, <laughs> I can lay it down. And look, once a wheel, always a wheel. And it's a wheel. <laughs> look, it's a wheel. And it's a wheel again. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing back there, Dave? Great, <laughs> yeah. Great. All right, Doug's back to his wheel. Yeah, tuck that round part up on the wheel. Nice. Hope nobody's in the lounge just sitting there listening to us. <laughs> Idiots. I hope they're all in there just... <laughs> never hiring again. I wonder how many 6-8 wraps I can put in. Oh, no. Rye's getting involved with the... Oh, See, Josh is like... Instead of a platform, out. I think we should deploy with straight lines. That's Rye's suggestion. Oh. What's going on with your camera? What's going on with your camera? Do you want to note that? Yeah, I sure do. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are we, um, what's... Six, four, six, thirty-five meters. Can I restart it? I'm not going to sure. do anything. How's that? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> hey, wait a sec. Did it fix it? <laughs> do you want to note that in the red book, that the uh, yes, yes, utility okay. cam was flaky, and then you restarted butt cam, and it worked? H1... She's We're at out. 81, yeah. Sorry. I really enjoy that, that uh, restarting butt cam fixed util cam. 
81. What are you talking about 81? Dive is H1981. Oh, no, I got that part. Roger that. What depth was that? 635. Thank you. <clears throat> Look, Doug and Rye are in there in the chat. Doug's like, we should use the winch because it makes circles. Rye's like, nope, straps, he can, <laughs> they hang straight. They're going to be a straight line. I, uh, no wheels involved. Question, how far above us is Atalanta usually, approximately? Uh, it depends a lot based on operational needs. Are you talking in general throughout this cruise? Yes. Somewhere between 20 and 45 meters, mm -hmm. generally around 33 would be the average. Okay, and is there <coughs> a rule of thumb for as ascent and descent? Uh, we try to stay about even for ascent and descent plus minus 10 meters or so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What site is this? Endeavor something? West flank. How far is it from MEF? 2.5 kilometers. Thank you, Josh. We're at 3.5 or somewhere between. That could be correct. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me just zoom out. Careful. Make sure you go slow. <laughs> not get ahead of ourselves the there. Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. Two point five kilometers. First time for everything. Yeah, I w I was doubting you. Um, I was like, he can't possibly be correct. He can't possibly know this. <laughs> this doesn't seem like information that he would know. Have you done the underwater tra underwater transit before? Have you? No. Oh. I don't think I've ever been to West Flank. Two thirds of the way done this transit. Uh, we have a question for our ROV pilots. Um, do any of you have any background in the aviation industry? Because I think someone's um, asking if there's a connection uh, or a pathway. Not particularly. Not really, no. Um, no, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I mean, Trevor, para, no, what do you do? Paraglide? Yeah, paraglides. And I have my pilot's license, but only recreationally. Yeah. Um, neither of us have ever done anything for a living in that industry before. Mm -hmm. To be honest, they're not really they're Do really you think the related. skills would be transferable? Of actually piloting, like uh, operating the or vehicle, or even things maybe like uh, aircraft mechanics. Mm. That would, yeah. There's a lot of hydraulics and uh, ah, yes. like big aircraft sure. for sure. Yeah. Yep. Actually, the oil that's in the uh, Atlanta thrusters, mm. that is uh, aeronautical. Oh uh, yeah. Spark. Aeronautical, air, whatever. You know. Plain oil. Plain oil. Yeah. <laughs> Not P L A I N. P L A N E. <laughs> Airplane oil. That's better. Mm -hmm. Nice. I think we just turned that no into a yes. <laughs> hmm. Well, no, the question was if we have any experience in the aviation industry. Oh, but then I asked if it was transferable. Good point. Yes. Good point. Okay, two questions. Transferable. One hard skills. no, one medium yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think people from a lot of different backgrounds can bring value to this group. Um, yeah. There's, I mean, there's so many different backgrounds out here right now in the ROV team and in every team here, and all those backgrounds bring value. You don't have, there's no one path to get here. There's no one 
skill set that is the one to have. It's the variety is what makes this team go. Yeah, I'm an electrician by trade. <coughs> Trevor's an engineer. We've had doctors. Josh uh, Chernov is a uh, professional biologist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in all types. Yeah. We have had pilots, uh, uh, other um, airplane pilots, come out uh, for internships, actually. Mm -hmm. And I think one of them was a commercial pilot for a while. So is the deck being empty mean we're almost done with that? Done with the discussions? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully for them. Hopefully for us too. Mm -hmm. Can't talk about shoe wine anymore. Yeah, I kind of lost interest. I don't think I'm going to invest. Oh, I've invested. You did? Already. Oh, did you? <laughs> I'd invest if he had a cardboard cutter to me, but I never saw that, so I wasn't... Didn't He's buy got him. it. It's just in his room. Yeah, his office. Good point. Fabio just messaged and said he's very happy that we are doing the transect. Oh, great. Awesome. We're happy that he's happy. <laughs> yeah. I like happy Fabio. I don't know. I've I like all Fabio. Yeah. Fabio's <laughs> never not... I don't know. He's usually happy. Happy enough. Yeah, that squishy weird thing. Oh, Megan missed a squishy weird thing. Oh no. Had all these weird little dots in it and stuff? I don't know. I think that uh, was in the field guide. Megan's coat could be classified as a squishy thing. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice warm squishy <laughs> thing. Is that specifically for the van or because Canada? Uh, because, well, Canada. I brought it because Canada, <laughs> but it's now specifically for the van because it's much <laughs> colder in here. Are the different sections different temperatures? Because I think that's a peak question. Because I feel cold. They are, they are yes. They're yeah. monitored, and you can read them out somewhere. In front of Pete. In front of Pete. So it's 70.5, 70, and 67.3, depending on where you are. Where are those thermometers? Yeah. That's a great question. Thank you. Dan so which one is Van C? That. Is Van uh, C front row? Van C that's is the where back I'm one. sitting. Back one. Van C is the okay. oh. studio. I get those switched. Okay, so it's okay. 70, the sensor is 70.5 in here right now, which is quite pleasant. Now where Megan sits, she's by the hatch. It could be a little colder. Yeah, it's a, it's a little chillier. Here. It's okay. I'm just used to it being a lot warmer. <laughs> now, uh, just in generally. During, so, the, same. during the warmer conditions, it's probably warmer where you're sitting too. Oh yeah. Well, when it's like, you know, 80 degrees outside, it's a little bit warmer on this corner. Which is nice for you Hawaii people. <laughs> I'm not cut out to live in Hawaii. That's fair. In the winter, if I can get away with it, uh, my house is like 60 degrees. <laughs> like, uh, by choice? Fahrenheit, yeah. Yes, I know Fahrenheit. <laughs> <laughs> 60 degrees so Celsius. <laughs> we like, what? That's super cold, Trevor. Yeah, it's very cold. But maybe, okay, maybe 63. Anything below 65. Is that because you want cold. it to be? Yeah, I like it really, really cold. I like it about 17 Celsius. I mean, Celsius. my bedroom for sure, but not the rest of the house. You see how fast I move all the time? Oh, yeah. A little hummingbird over here. Yeah. Our well, cabin. What about your poor wife? Yeah, that's why I don't get away with it. Yeah, my <laughs> cabin is normal. 64 degrees right now. <laughs> your what is? cabin downstairs okay. is 64 degrees it's that's very cool rigid wow. in there. oh yeah and let me guess mine. 51 so, what cabin 51 no rats 80 something oh, okay. you're 80 yeah no, 80. 51 would be it's either, about 80 20 or 80 degrees warmer okay because i'm 81 oh, yeah. really okay so i think we're 82 yeah. yeah yeah my cabin's really cold 10.0 meters a minute my cabin's and the really thermometer it, the, the um uh Thermostat? Thermostat. That's the word. Yeah. Gotcha. 
the yeah, thermostat. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a code on it, so I can't change it. We don't even have a thermostat. We have one of those mercury thermometers in our room. That's how I know it's 64. Yeah, we've got like a vent, and it's like it's blowing okay. freezing cold air all Same day. Same with ours. And my bed is right next to the vent because mm -hmm. I'm on the top bunk, and so I'm freezing in there. That was the one I didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor giving us all these life hacks to break the law. I love my weighted blanket. It's great. Yeah, I've never tried one. I've heard they're quite lovely. Yeah, they it's are. very calming. It's like when you're at the dentist and they put that big lead bib on you when you get your x-rays done. Mm. I don't find that cozy. I don't, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't, that I, sounds well, the x-ray part terrifying. is uncomfortable. <laughs> That's why. Put this sharp plastic thing in your mouth and make a weird <laughs> smile. <laughs> And bite down on the hard plastic yeah, thing right, so totally. it digs into your gums. <laughs> if you're bleeding, you're doing it right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, dentist. <laughs> Are we, like, just making a giant circle around the ship? Yeah, I just didn't lateral at all. So now we've... Whee! <laughs> Got to take out your turns then. Oh, yeah. But I did remember to reset them today. That's pretty Good cool. Good job. We weren't we talking me. about wheels earlier? Wheels? Um, I'm just, I'm <laughs> wheels and circuits. Doug being the wheel guy? Yeah, I'm aspiring to be as clean wheeled as Dougie. <laughs> Uh, there's been a couple questions about uh, the Nautilus, like what it's like on board um, or tour, I guess. Uh, on the Nautilus Live website under resources, there is a, I don't know what kind of tour you would call it. The kind, It's kind of like it's Google like a, Streets. It's a virtual tour. Yeah, virtual tour. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, what is it called? <laughs> yeah, the, we 3D map the whole ship and yeah. you can basically walk through the ship as if you're here. Mm -hmm. And you can zoom in on things and... How detailed did that get? Did that go to like the winch hold and stuff? Or is it mainly the, the main just areas? Just like the main areas. Okay. Like a stateroom and you know, the, the mess and lounge and um, science areas. Cool. Back deck. Our Jacob I think they went put up that to the, together. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It, like, he right. did a really good job of mapping out the van. <laughs> mm hmm. It was. The main work areas and stuff. Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah, like what's it like being in here? You know, you can see it online, but it's not quite the same. Very flat online. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a lot more space in here than I'm used to, you know? I've got three <laughs> vans. Mm -hmm. Imagine trying to do this and your back row is like right here. Oh. Oh, I know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Get dirt breathing down your neck. Whew. Yeah, gesturing oh, wildly. Because <laughs> they're away. <laughs> Gross. Stowed. Stowed. <laughs> stowed. <laughs> hey, dirt, can you stow your fingers?
Now Dirk's back. All that talk and he's finally doing something. So he's pretty, puts he's one piece of tape <laughs> on the top. <laughs> what do you think it says? It says something? Yes. Approved? Approved. <laughs> says shoe wine. Look at that wiggly thing. Yeah. Glad we still have that camera up here for for, for seeing. Extra seeing. Seeing is good. I like seeing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Got Ghost no ship. Got no issue with a good sea. Sea state. Four. Sea breeze. Hmm. Seafood. Sea wind. What? You can't see wind. <laughs> Sorry. That's why it doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, right. I forgot to avoid mentioning wind near you. Gotcha. Proven. <laughs> <laughs> Proven you got me, yeah. been constantly going like this. <laughs> I'll really get a full turn in before the watch change, but I don't think I can make it. <laughs> yeah, you've got seven minutes. Yeah. I mean, when they get to the bottom like this, then her can just turn around and go this way. No big deal. Yeah, I agree. As long as it's a day problem. Not an us problem. It's not an us problem. I didn't want to introduce laterals while we were doing this transect because we're bang on 10.0 meters a minute. I didn't want to mess with a good thing. Nope. You're right. It's amazing how much you have to change it, especially different water levels. Like, I was minus 30 for a while, 55, minus 40 right now. Yeah. It's really bizarre. A bit nutty. <coughs> hey, Corny. The, the Z bias? Mm hmm. Just to keep a constant uh, vertical velocity. Okay. Yeah, well, those would. different layers of water have different densities. Totally, but what? it's not like it gets more dense or whatever. It's, it's not linear. It's like it was 30 for a bit, then it was 50 for a bit, then it was 40. Yeah, yeah, because there's just wow. different water masses totally, that have different yeah. properties. Yeah, and it's and not it's, like it, it gets it, yeah, always more. Yeah, it doesn't like, they don't mix that yeah. much. So, yeah, it's very kind of a distinct striation. Right. You don't really think about that. Would that be a helocline or would it be something else? Uh, Some well, other kind of climb. It's not really a line um it's just different water masses in the ocean okay. yeah is that not is and not they, the they move of those yeah power? they move in different ways okay i don't know so, anything about oceanography yeah so the water masses are formed in different places <laughs> and they layer so like you have like deep water which is formed at um the north atlantic or the antarctic and that just sort of sits on bottom it's like the densest most saline um okay. and then you have like your your mid water um, masses that are formed in different parts of the ocean and so these, these ma water masses like they move all around the like globe a big chunk yeah as a chunk cool and so they're like these distinct layers kind of like wow. a cake cool yeah um do you know what the bollard thrust of the vehicle is at all uh 20 percent is 40 pounds 21 percent is 40 pounds per per thruster 44. So 100% is 220, uh, just, yeah. 220 pounds per thruster. So in theory, 440. Those are the, the, the main, the main, main the axials and the, and the horizontal. Exactly, yeah. <coughs> Is 
Yeah, that's a theoretical bollard hole, but I don't know what the actual is. It'd be cool to know, you know? Just put it in a, you know, in the harbor and tie it off to a scale and... Well, work. we're gonna, you know, yeah, we'll have to for thruster, thruster crews. Mm -hmm. But I've done that and it's hard to get it... Like it's oh, really it's hard terribly hard. It. Yeah, right. Because you're, you know, churning it up here at the surface yeah, and it's, it's like... Yeah, you gotta like make a time to do it, and yeah, yeah, good luck. But like, even that, even you can't do it at the surface. You gotta like, you gotta be somehow somehow down, but not on bottom. No, you want to be at least ten meters deep, but not on bottom. And where's a bollard near that? Like, <laughs> are you gonna find a deep water port and rent that out? No, you're not gonna do that. So. Two twenty pounds each thruster. I don't know what that number is based on. I don't know if that's based on the 13 pitch prop or if it's like a theoretical max of the motor. Or uh, if it's ISC spec. Or if it's left over from Jason or Alvin or something, because that's where this GUI comes from. Uh, I honestly don't know. Sure. But you can look that up from... Might be on the website, Herc's specs? No. Oh. Not not correct. Um, there's well, a way to calculate that with uh, thru with uh, oh. motor horsepower and prop pitch and oh, stuff. Okay. I don't know yeah. what the calculation is, but... Here they are. The gang's all oh, here. Yeah. guys. Uh, while we're doing a watch change with the ROV pilots, um, I'll repeat how to uh, see the virtual a tour of our ship. Um, if you're on the nautiluslive.org website, the easiest way to get there is to uh, search, which is right next to the donate button, that little looking glass, magnifying glass uh, icon thing. Uh, you can click on that and search for either a virtual tour or virtual field trip, and it should be the first link that pops up in the search results. <laughs> Everybody looks red. Check, check, check. <laughs> oh, 
What does that mean? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the the what, feedback noise yes, we were the getting yesterday. Noise, yeah. Oh, I guess it would help if I uh, <laughs> yeah. put my mic on the talk. Mm. So saying, we'll we'll give it a test today. I think it stopped when Dan left the room as well <laughs> yesterday. So so it could be his headset. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he just can't be sitting next to the craft. I see. I that see. That works you to did your there. benefit. <laughs> <laughs> my headset's on. I don't hear it now. Yep, we can hear you. Did you hear it? Dan? What's the that? The occasional static hits yesterday. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, he was about ready to jump off the boat. Oh, like yeah. Someone was snoring or farting or something repeatedly. So we'll see. It's kind of strange. Oh, I just heard something. It was different from the noise from yesterday, though. No, I know, but it was static. -y. Yeah. Isn't there a way to interface with these without having that, that like noise? super fancy? No, that kind of sounded like someone just adjusting. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> move. Don't move. Check, check, check. A regular gaming headset that had a... Wi-Fi interface to the, or Bluetooth interface to the panel? You can, because it, it does have a uh, quarter inch jack, quarter jack. Does it? Oh, that's for a uh, panel mic. Yeah, same difference. Because <laughs> we have the, like the remote ones, is you got to have this big, huge belt pack thing. It's like pretty industrial. I mean, this one for the console, you know, if I want to go like, Wireless gaming. Just ask them for David Clark. Yeah. I don't know that you can go 12 hours with the David Clark on. These are. The well, pilots heavy. do it all the time. <laughs> nah, they're pretty intense. Hours at these. I want to wear my Bose noise canceling. I'm having Bluetooth to a dongle. Mm. Those are comfy. Yeah, it'd be nice to have Bluetooth to a dongle mm -hmm. instead of the, the cord that I keep leaning yeah. on. Cord's annoying. And you just have to make sure it shuts off when you leave the van? Yes. <laughs> well, no, when you. Yeah, so if the you thing, leave the van, you the need to make sure The thing you stick into the nice. jack would have the, the Bluetooth in it. Um, well, it is an XLR power, jack, though. so you could probably wire it to like a standard mic, mic headphone jack uh, yeah. style. Yeah. A hack. Control van hack. <laughs> yeah, as long as it's not Bluetooth to your phone. Oh, that would be cool. That's what we did, and someone uh, went to the bathroom on live mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hear water trickling, and you hear the toilet flush. <laughs> Speaking of you hear blue. water trickling again after the toilet flush. <laughs> Hopefully. My hand dryer going. <laughs> well, we're almost there. So do we need to ha watch the hangar on descent? Oh, Trevor was just switching the feeds. We were watching oh, the yeah. back deck for a while. <laughs> Tre Trevor was bored. <laughs> Dirk, you were the star of Trevor's show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the dive salvo? Uh, I think this yeah. is the dive salvo, isn't it? Ooh, time for the dive salvo. Yeah. This is the dive salvo. Garbage just in the minus house. that. Oh, 
Are we doing a transect or are we screaming down? Transect to 1,000 meters. Oh, just kill me now. I wonder if Danny can walks. Take a look here. Pip one. Did you tilt up? Yes, I see. Oh, that's alright. Up there. Well, Bucket. I think you should have Atalanta tilted oh, yeah. down that for the good. transect too, Danny. Huh? They're recording Atalanta as well. All the lights are on. Yeah, but you need to tilt the camera down so it's in the light. I was looking for the controller for the pan and tilt. There isn't one. Needs to be one. That's good. Just Give so it a 45 degree angle. Oh, oh don't run away. Up, up, so we can see the gauge too on the way down. Looking on it. Tilt me out away. <coughs> That's good there. Oh, Jake, we went on a tour all the way around. Was it a three hour tour? <laughs> um, no, like it was it. like an hour and a half. One big loop de loop. <laughs> Well, just have to come all the way back. He was really aiming for making a full loop. Well, uh, we could continue. <laughs> Take out the wrap later. <laughs> Done at Main Endeavor. Where are we going? Where are we headed? Going now? When we're done, we can go all the way down. Oh, Full which beans. site are you talking about, Dan? Or yeah, I'm not sure where we are now. Or Western Flank. Where's Western Flank? West Flank. It's, um. Oh, there's music. It's also still here at Endeavor, just a different site. Is that west of Dudley, or still within that zone? Or? Uh, we're quite far west. Megan, how far west are we from Main Endeavor Field right now? Uh, do, you, do you want to know the actual distance from Endeavor Field, or how far west? I want to see the it distance, on a, just the distance. The distance is uh, 2,500 meters. And it's west, right? Yeah, well, it's southwest. Okay. Or no, southeast. Right? But the bathymetry looks a lot different. It looks like we're kind of just on the edge of the fun stuff. South. Yeah. You have a flight or mouse presentation for us on a blue water descent. So if you're looking at high pack, we're over here. Main Endeavor Field is down oh, um, it, yeah. southeast of us. Uh, perfect. Okay. So we're northwest. Right before we kind of get out of all the like lumpy bathymetry. Right. Yeah. We're like hopped over all that sort of higher bathymetry with the lumps, and now we're kind of falling off that little shelf. 1,000 meters. Transect complete. Transect complete. So this site is kind of the opposite of the node site, which is just Cold before beans. we get up on the ridges. What's the depth there? Two, three, uh, deeper. Six, one. Uh. And now, the only change from the dive plan is um, we were originally going to send the. Um, package down on a pink hook and disconnect, but we've switched that to acoustic releasing the package. So we won't be disconnecting it. What's up? I thought we were doing a transect. It's over. Uh, 1,000 meters. Oh. Max power. Full beans. Full beans down. I was like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> Let's actually get to the bottom today. <laughs> See here. At what speed are we going? Uh oh. Thirty ish meters right now. Thanks. 
What is this, 1981? Yep, that sounds right. <laughs> Google decided to log me out of my log. There we go. Dysentery. <laughs> Autocorrect tried to change descent into dysentery. Oh, lovely. Oh, goodness. I'm like, okay, that's a new one. Okay, reservoir. We got, what, 4.5. Comp. Looks like an apple. <laughs> it does look like an apple. <laughs> There's something there. Or is it a really weird strawberry? It could be a really weird strawberry. If that X was green. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can make the X green. Maybe I can. A DCGF has been slowly declining over the last 48 hours. Well, that's not the color I picked. Oh, it's a strawberry. Megan, you're having way too much fun over there. <laughs> I'm having just the right amount of fun. <laughs> we were having fun doing play-by-play -play on the deck <laughs> with Trevor and yeah. Josh. <laughs> um, going, going full zoom. No, we left Zoom off. <laughs> <laughs> Using the Telestrator, doing the footballs? Yeah, uh, you know, system? I've been told not to use the Telestrator. Uh, for <laughs> so it's just theater of the mind. That's no fun. Well, the Telestrator would have only been for us anyway. Yeah, it doesn't go out. It's true. What's the weather look like today? Oh, it looks overcast and uh, mild. 
Weber? Just call it Canada Weber. Canada. Canada Standard. Canada Standard. <laughs> oh, I'm slicing the uh, strawberry. Not like in Hawaii when it's, uh, you know, just hot and sunny. Like it's Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Uh, just taking the uh, stem off. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you got to do it. Yeah. You don't want to waste any of that good fruit. I wish we had strawberries. <laughs> it would have lasted two days. Yeah, but it would have been nice. Kimberly, do we have any like really cool outreach 3D interactive endeavor walkthrough? We do. Kinda? We were just talking Media. about that today. How funny. Yeah. How funny that you were mentioning that. Um, yeah, we have the virtual field trip. Oh, yeah. So, What's that uh, look like? yeah, it looks like this. It's on the Nautilus website. So, someone was asking how to get there before. Well, that's through Nautilus. No, I'm talking about the Endeavor event field. Oh, oh, uh, no, we don't. I think that would be, we need a lot of video and photography for that. I don't know if we there's have some, anything like there's that. There's some. Stuff out there. We certainly have Deb videos. Kelly is yeah. I'm talking more like a, you know, like a cartoon map, 3D yes. rendering kind of, you know, cutaway. Yeah, definitely a lot of resources. Play the flute. On that. I don't think you have enough fingers for that. <laughs> there is. Um, is this still cam? Is this still cam turned on? Is still cam right? We good to. Uh, they did upload a file to YouTube. It still camera field. is on. It's powered on. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. I'm talking like you know something we can um, pan, tilt, crack zoom, valve. Zoom, no, rotate. There it is. Valve on. With pretty colors and. Hydraulics live. I keep meaning to ask Rennie about it. Do a fighter mouse presentation. Catch me a jelly. Like if you look on the uh, like Wikipedia, there's a. Well, then change it. Oh, I'm gonna try it. The 3D one that Flute I think Bari did. You can always add our videos to Wikipedia like as well. But it, <coughs> it's cool to have like the 3D Squeeze. map. You can rotate around, zoom well. in, zoom out, yeah, kind cool. of like. Um, That's how I was used to doing it. If this was actually, you know. Kind of feels know, like a, a showing. Yeah. It's more like, uh, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You push the end, you push the end yeah. And you're like, where's my button? But I got this function. Uh, I got where is it? Where is it? That. Actually, I kind of like it. Put my thumb in the right spot. I say that now. Like that, I'm going to drop and stuff. Oh, yeah. There's. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, ONC didn't have something on there. Yeah. Website. And then you can uh, zoom in yeah. and zoom out, move around, and almost like that feels you would familiar. be able to look at a yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that, mm -hmm. and then show where the ROV is. And it, it oh, I, I love that idea. I think it's great. We I don't think we have something like that. I don't think we have the bathymetry data for it. We do. It exists. It's out there. Like that. That high resolution. AUV data, right? Didn't you say there was AUV data? Yeah, yeah. I know when Barry's run their AUV around Sock here, and we've done some multi-beam. Those jaws really always look funny when they open and close. <laughs> Even if it, you know, what like wasn't the okay, RV overlaid real time, like an IVA yeah, yeah. 3D map, what, which, um, but yeah, I know I can find the data online. It's, we just haven't put together like a cool yeah. something we could flash up on, on the stuff. screen and uh, yeah. talk mm -hmm. about during I'll blue water. This is a uh, I think that'll be really cool well, for pre dive well like planning, getting yeah. everyone on the same page. Like, here's the yeah. obstacles, yeah. Here, are here are this. Yeah, yeah totally. totally. I don't. Mm -hmm. I'll have like to look, but I don't think we have data to be able to do that kind of detail. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like super detailed, right? But more detailed than that. Like that, to me, is, Oh, you know. yeah. Yeah, that's borderline. <laughs> you know, <laughs> might as well not have the one without anything, almost. Yeah, I turn it off on the other ones. Yeah. It's just pixels. Yeah. 
no, like I don't writing. know. But like so, this if like Google Earth, right? Right. That's oh yeah, not no, that I get accurate. it. Like, yeah. You can tilt it and rotate it around. And you, there actually is um, some. Uh, now that I think about it, there's some overlaid Google Earth bathymetry on some of the um, some of the vent Might fields. Need to go like this, it would be a really cool project. Is is to map rest. each of our, even if you're not mapping out the whole main endeavor, but just like right. each of our sites. Yeah. And then yeah. even 3D print them in like A4 size or something. So yeah. you can have the whole site laid out yeah, and see exactly awesome. what you, okay, you want to yeah. have Argus here in this kind of current. Or yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely it would be a really cool project. Uh, we don't have that, but maybe we can work on it. We have, um, uh, we have some of that um, capability here as pet project. Um, so we take some of our multi-beam data, what we were um, uh, going around the uh, methane hydrate fields, yeah. and we did multi-beam. And then one of the data engineers uh, pulled all that into Blender and made a Blender model. So he had it, he had it um, rendered so it had, you know, light rays and you could see the ROV and he had one he did really cool just for fun. He had like where it, he calls it where did all the water go? So he had all the water drained out and Oh yeah, I think like, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. That was Herc's pretty cool. Sitting there on the seabed with its lights blinking. <laughs> <laughs> Nautilus lane. Yeah, that'll be that'll be, that'll be that'll Yeah, like really a blender cool. a blender model you can pull pull that into. Yeah, because right now what we're using for navigating which is essentially kind of that. Yeah. I don't know I don't know of any more detailed stuff. Yeah, Iva has uh, some pretty cool 3D capability. Okay. What's it called, Iva? Yeah, it's a commercial um, uh, survey program that yeah. uh, Europus is using it now, but it's been around in the in the trades for you know, decades. Do you know how to? Spell it's that? kind of the the earlier version of that was um, Windfrog. There's also some other companies doing it. Um, 4D Nav is another company. Uh, 3D at Depth is doing some really cool stuff with um, uh, LiDAR. So they're using LiDAR in, instead of photogrammetry. Is it IVA? Uh, E-I-V-A. Yeah, well, at some point I have a look at that. And I think that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, and the Robos kids got some awesome uh, we did a, a uh, I don't know, it's like a four-week campaign um, with a multi-beam skid on Ropos doing a caldera somewhere in Tonga, Tonga Trench or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful 3D model, and you could rotate it around and zoom in and zoom out. But they also did, um, we had uh, a 180 camera on the front of the vehicle with strobes so they were taking video and pictures so it was almost like an IMAX presentation or it was supposed to be uh, an IMAX it. I'm not sure if it ever got there so with that kind of um, multi-beam would you be able to go through main endeavor field look at Dante for instance that new pillar that showed up on Dante that yeah. seems things very new yeah. and just well, track that kind of growth of the events themselves do you think that'll be detailed I, enough for that I don't know how that would work. Some of the challenges there, obviously, are the, you know, the, the smokers and all the stuff in the water. So I have no yeah, idea yeah, how lidar yeah. would work if it'd be any better. That's one of the challenges with photogrammetry, right? This, the vents. Yeah, exactly. Obscured. If you look at, there's photogrammetry dating back, you know, 30 years here. Some of the old black and white ones and. But the skid on uh, on. What you were saying on Ropos, that was a multi-beam, so was that sonar? Uh, they yeah. had, yeah, they had a multi-beam sonar and a couple DVLs. Do you think like multi-beam off ROV around Main Endeavor could give you that ability to track spire growth or not? I know. Because, don't, yeah, I photogrammetry seems like it could be difficult with this mode. Well, they do kind of a combination of, of both, right? Okay. So then the capability exists nowadays to pull that data in from all those sources and then create a, a 3D mesh model. Yeah. And that if you, like something like Blender, where you're doing a realistic model, that's just a mesh model. So that data can come from photogrammetry, it can come from LiDAR, it can come from multi-beam. 
And then the artist or the blender author has some latitude to, you know, fill in the gaps, kind of make it, make some, put some cartoon aspect into it. Yeah, we've got, we've got one sonar, you might have worked with it, like it's um, an Eris 3000. I don't know, Eris, it's kind of like, uh, it's like an acoustic camera, really. Right. But it's, it's really high, right? like going through Stra uh, Strait of Georgia with, uh, where you can't see anything, you can't even see your porch, nothing. Yeah. But you can see like very high detail of the platform. Like oh, you can yeah. see features like bullhorns and all this kind of stuff on the yeah. platform from like yeah, five totally. meters up. It's, yeah. it's a little slightly laggy kind of like a little similar experience to using like the stills camera in a bit but yeah. it's really high resolution through um, any kind of sediment in the water with uh like a gemini or a blue view uh yeah. multi-beam sonar we've like i did a job where we're doing dive support so we're hanging around quite a bit waiting for the divers and we're watching the divers but you could see the diver walking and you could see him the tool he was holding in his hand yeah. and you could see his arm swinging as he's trudging across the seabed in his you know rubber boots and coveralls and yeah we we um had one cruise where we had the gemini and the eris oh yeah and it's just for we found for the rov the gemini is so much more like fast frame rate you see a yeah. way bigger swath yeah you know, totally. way more what's going on yeah the eris is very a mm -hmm. narrow band for yeah. what it's seeing but what it's seeing is very high resolution yeah. but you're not for navigating you're like i don't know i think it's like i, I can't remember but like 30 degrees in front of you or something yeah and that sounds a lot like our norbit very high but then yeah, yeah so like if you they we've mounted a high up on the rv and then it's not on a pan and tilt so you see oh connector panel grading you see the individual grading pieces on the wow. gratings and everything yeah. but as you get close because not on a pen until you lose all the working area exactly <laughs> and you just yeah. see like the adcps at the top of the platform yeah that's the cool thing about the gemini or the blue view you can put it on your pen and tilt yeah but the mostly it's a pretty cool product you don't really need it on a pan because the rov pan yeah, just right? tilt yeah, yeah, yeah you need yeah, the tilt, tilt. yeah um I think the scientists were using it initially when we got it for looking at fish and stuff in Strait of Georgia because you can always just see what's there. You know, right. visibility is not a, doesn't affect it at all. It seems. Hmm. They're like bubbles, tiny little bubbles. You see bubbles in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hunt bubbles with the uh, Norbit. You can see yeah. the bubble plumes. We are actually doing. Uh, we did some models, uh, blender models. So we did um, scans of a. It was kind of a depression in the seabed where there was a uh, methane hydrate venting. Yep. And then with the Norbit, we also scanned uh, the bubbles in the water column as they're coming up. So they built a, a 3D model of the, not only of the bathymetry, but the bubbles, how they were propagating through the, through the water column. It's yeah. pretty cool. Very impressive. I always thought that kind of data for a, uh, kind of outreach and also planning would be I, I, I find it interesting cool to look at we have um, our fighter mouse that we use uh, what's a fighter mouse it's a program that uh, takes our multi-beam and you can look at it in 3d so you can uh, you know rotate and uh, zoom in, zoom out, kind of like you could a uh, 3D model yep. that you were modeling in, you know, Sol SolidWorks or Fusion 360. Yep. So how you how you view a model that you're an engineering model, you can do the same thing with our multi-beam data. Yeah, I, man, that's useful. I think like Endeavor backing up, not backing up into things, like seeing, kind of having quick reference of what your space is like, yeah. where you're working. Like. Yeah, using uh, IVA 3D uh, was very cool. We were doing um, really long, like five kilometer transects and then turning around and doing the other one. And by the time we would do finish the transect, they would have it all processed and in the model. Yeah. So when we turned around and came back, we had an idea of the bathymetry, yeah. which was quite radical, you know, 200, 300 meter ups and downs and giant, you know, 60, 80 meter structures.